Here we want to perform the indicated operation, which is subtraction, of these polynomials. Since the first polynomial has nothing in front of it, we can drop the parentheses and just write down our terms. With the second polynomial, we have a negative in, in front, a subtraction sign. So we need to distribute that through each of our three terms. Since the 6x squared y cubed was positive, it will now be negative when we distribute that negative. Since the 4xy was negative, it's now going to be a positive term. And since the 10y squared was negative, it will now also be a positive term. At this point, we want to look for like terms to group together. So we have an x squared y cubed term, 8 here, and then we have a minus 6 of the same term, x squared y cubed. So we can group those two together. Then we have xy terms. We have a minus xy and a plus 4xy, so we can group those together. And finally, our y squared terms are plus 2y squared plus 10y squared. 8 minus 6 is 2x squared y cubed. Then minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3xy. And finally, plus 2 plus 10 is plus 12y squared. So that our result when we do the subtraction to combine these two polynomials is 2x squared y cubed plus 3xy plus 12y squared.